Good afternoon, my friends. My name is Lama Jigme Gyatso of the non sectarian Buddhist and Taoist monk, yogi, healer, and teacher. In our last video, we described taking the energy of insecurity and fear and low self esteem and transforming that energy into compassion. Compassion doesn't stand alone. Compassion needs to be counterweighted with the wisdom of letting go. And that's exactly what we're going to play with right now. Do me a favor and grab your trusty mala. And I want you to count using your index finger. Use that index finger as a pulley and just pull each bead over your index finger with your thumb on every in-breath. So let's start right now. Grin with lips, relaxing. Grin with, grin with cheeks, relaxing. Grin with eyes, relaxing. Now that we've remembered how to grin, grin to scalp, relaxing. Belly breathe, face relax. Excellent. So let's jump right in. It's very simple. On the in-breath, we're going to silently, mentally recite the question, what seeing? What seeing? And remember, this is a rhetorical question. It's not our job to, th to think of some profound or witty answer. Just ask the question. Whether your eyes are open or your eyes are closed, your mind's always seeing something. During the out-breath, I want you to intend to relax. And the easiest way to shape our intention is with our words. So in the out-breath, we silently, mentally recite relaxing. What's the yin? Relaxing. I've already shared with you, the pinky can correspond with our pelvic cavity, the ring finger can correspond with our abdominal cavity, the middle finger can correspond with our pleural cavity, where we keep our lungs, and our index finger can correspond with the crown of our head. You know that soft spot at the top of a baby's head, the fontanelle? Exactly. Let's continue. What's seeing? Relaxing. We could see all kinds of nightmarish scenarios. We could see ourselves failing at a task. We could see ourselves being destitute. We can see ourselves being mocked and directed. Derided, derided, derated. You can see ourselves being mocked and thought poorly of by those we respect. Whatever comes to mind, look at it, and on the out breath, as you release your breath, choose to relax. What's seeing? Relaxing. And remember, it's never an issue of whether 
if our mind will wander, but simply when. It's not our job to repress minds, thoughts, hearts, and emotions, our bodies, feelings, or life circumstances, but rather to bring whatever comes up into the path. So let's do that right now. We'll do that using the six R's. Recognize, releasing. How funny, relax it. Re smile, returning. get lost momentarily in bliss, just enjoy it. We live in an inter we live in an impermanent universe where everything changes all the time. Sometimes bliss comes, it stays a while and goes. Which is neither good nor bad, it simply is. Once the wave of bliss has passed, return to the home base, which in this context is our visual awareness training, also known as the leap over or the togal in Tibet. What's seeing, relaxing. session for this video. Please coil up your mala and bless it by blowing on it like you would as if you were cleaning your glasses. If you enjoyed this video, please write, make a comment below. Tell me what you thought of it. And let me know what some of your greatest insecurities are, uh, either on Facebook, uh, Tumblr, I guess some will work on Tumblr, or on YouTube. In the next video, in the next video, it is my intention to discuss the opposite of fear, which is peace. So in the next video, let's manifest peace for ourselves and all others. Of course, the Tuesday night series of weekly webinars begins June 3rd. To register, go to the link below, www.lamajigme.com. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Bye-bye now.